Hockey 605. We're here with Trevor Preston, a referee for hockey, and we appreciate you taking some time with us this morning, Trevor. No problem. Well, I've been wanting to talk to referees a little bit more about a variety of things as we're learning about hockey. For example, the equipment that you wear. We've been talking a little bit about, about equipment, and uh, you've got on the, the official jersey, right? Yes. Yes, and, I do. And what do the orange, orange stripes on your sleeves indicate? They indicate whether I'm the lead official or a just a regular linesman. Okay, so the lead official wears the orange, the linesman don't? Yes. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then the patch, this is the official USA Hockey, and USA Hockey is where you become, um, is it certified? Certified, yes. Certified as a referee? Yes. And what, what level are you as a referee? I'm a level three. Oh, level three, okay. Now, and you've been refing since you were, what, 11 you said? 11, I think so, yeah. And you also have played a lot. What made yeah. you decide to become a referee? I just always, I've always wanted to ref, so. It's a good way to stay involved in the game, isn't it? Yes, it's a great way to stay involved in the game. And probably make a little cash? <laughs> yes, makes some pretty good money, yes. Yeah, money's nice to have. And now there's some other equipment that you can wear as a referee. Not all, I understand not all referees wear them, but for example, what's this? This is my elbow pad. This is also, this is a lot more padding than what most refs would wear. Okay. So, but, but if you hit the ice, I'm sure it keeps you from getting a chipped elbow, right? Exactly, yes. And I would think as a referee, you're just as prone to injury out there as the players, right? Not more. Yeah. Well, and then we have a, another piece of equipment here. This is my old shin guards from playing hockey. Although, <laughs> those are amazing. They almost sort of look bionic. Now, part of it goes over the knee, right? Yes. This, this part right here goes over the knee. Okay. And then I have, these are like higher quality shin packs, so they have this. This comes out, it's a sweat absorber. Oh, and so you can throw it in the wash. Exactly. Oh, that's nice. I bet yeah. they do get a little smelly, huh? Yeah, very <laughs> smelly. And I noticed that this one is marked for the left leg, so there's one for the left and one yes. for the right. Yes. That's and they correct. specifically fit. I suppose after you wear them, the more you wear them, the more they conform to your legs. Yeah. Well, when you, they, like, I think this is power, yeah, power. They have, like, three different kinds of fits. Oh, okay. So this is, this is what fits me the best, <coughs> and that's why I wear it for refing. Okay. Well, and then you guys also have, um, can wear pads on your hips, and, and I think you call this a girdle, right? Yes, that is, what, that is the girdle. Okay, I'm going to have you show it to us here. <coughs> and that has padding? All the way around. It's not like thick, thick, like freezers that the players wear, but it has enough padding and it has a cup. Mm -hmm. Everything I think that would be eat. essential to wear out on yes. ice. Pete, the refs that don't wear cups don't get any sympathy from us other refs. <laughs> We're kind of hard on each other. I, I've noticed that. You guys hold each other to a pretty high standard. Yes, that's... Yeah. Well, now you also have... Um, I'm going to grab your helmet here so we can look at that. I'll do that. Now this looks... Uh, Quite a bit like the helmets that the players wear. It is. It's ba it's the same. Um, it's the same helmet they would wear. And then I, one of the first games we saw, um, a referee took a puck in the ear. He did not have these nice little plastic yeah. ear protectors that you've got. Split his ear right open. Yep. Honestly, I've split my ear wide open with these on, so it just depends on how the puck hits your ear. It oh, might no. have been an older helmet too, so I might not have had these. Yeah, well he said he just chose not to wear them, thought he'd be smart, learned the lesson the hard way. Yep. Well, let's see the inside of the helmet. What kind of padding is in there? Oh wow. It's, this helmet was originally, uh, this is almost a brand new helmet. I got this last, or this year, this is the, my first year using it, and it went on clearance because the I think the HECC certification, which they just started enforcing this year, was is through February of 2013. Oh, so you weren't supposed to wear it till after that. <laughs> well, for players, they can't wear helmets that are aren't HECC huh. wow. certified. And referees, they don't have that rule for us, so okay. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well. It's obviously does the trick for you. And that's not really that heavy. I thought it, they might be heavier no. than that. But. This is really pretty light. 
some there's of course helmets you know they're gonna vary in mm -hmm. weight and everything so who, who make manufactures most of the helmets um <coughs> There's different brands again. There's CCM. Mm -hmm. There's Easton, Bauer. I don't think I'm forgetting any. Reebok. <coughs> there's there's a few different companies that make the helmets. Uh, kind of a limited number of companies, but so put, you put on all this gear and go out there and and become the referee. Yes. What do you like best about refing? <coughs> to to closer experience to the game and I'm out there with the kids plus I get to have decisions in the game that are you know because otherwise if I was watching the game and I was like oh I don't like that ref or something which I would do most people would but then I can make sure that I'm calling it the best that I'm calling it. giving the kids the best game you can exactly well and I've talked with a lot of referees and said when they step onto the ice or step onto the field, whatever sport they're refing in, their goal is to give the kids the best game they possibly can. Exactly. That's so, it. Yep. And it seems to me like you guys are doing that all the time. And uh, there's always the concern of people out, out there if, if they're a referee from the same town oh. that they're. <laughs> so how do you respond to that? Um, refs, once you get out there and you're you could say, oh yeah, I'm going to be biased this game or something like that. But. When you're out there and you want to give the, and see those kids, you want to give the kids a fair, I mean, it's a fair playing field. So you want to call it equal on both sides. Yeah. That's just how I see it. I wouldn't be able to, like, even though I'm from Sioux Falls, I wouldn't be able to say, oh, I want Sioux Falls to win this game, so I'm not going to call penalties yeah. on them. That just doesn't, that's not how it works. It's not part of how you even think about the game, yeah, is it? Exactly. Well, Trevor, we appreciate you taking some time with us at Hockey 605 and bringing us up to speed a little bit more. We have a lot yet to learn about referees. Yes. Um, and hopefully you and the rest of your referees will teach us more as we go. That would be wonderful. That's what we try to do. All right. Well, thanks again for taking time with us and enjoy the rest of the tournament. We got, we're down to Championship Sunday. Yes. It's going to be a great weekend, or a great Sunday. Yep. All right. Thanks again, Trevor. Take care. We'll catch up with you again soon. Yep. Thank you.